So here's a quick example of this uh, that we've got on the screen here. You can see uh, on the left over there I've got a 2D view and on the right I've got a, a 3D view of course which Open Roads allows us to do. So I'm just going to expand the 3D view and if I rotate this you can see I've got my terrain out there and I've also got some 3D um, geometry. Now I can of course uh, change the visualization of this terrain if I want to turn on some contours um, I can do that. So this is the a type of reality model that, that we've had in the past just using legacy terrains. Another example of this of course would be imagery. So I've got some high resolution imagery that I'm going to uh, uh, I've already draped on my terrain so I'm just going to reference that in here and you see now I've added some imagery uh, to this as well. So this is this reality model, the ability to be able to integrate these different things in and get an idea of what is going out there, uh, going on out there on the ground. And then I can, of course, model against that. Now here we've got a, a, um, a reality model from Context Capture that I'm just looking at in my Acute 3D viewer. And you can see I've created a 3D model from uh, just photographs that we've flown uh, over this um, area. Now, as I mentioned, underneath this, you've actually got a mesh that we could actually create a terrain from if we want to do this. So let's go back and see how we would use this in, 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 a, real, um, in a real project. So back to my interchange here you can as we said earlier I've got my geometry I've got my terrain I've got my my draped imagery but now I'm going to attach my 3mx file which is my reality model from context capture so we'll just attach that directly as a reference file and you can see that it comes in there uh, <clears throat> very nicely all in the right place all in 3d so I can see what's going on so let's go back up to my reference files here and let's just turn off uh, the imagery and let's turn off the terrain here so we can see our uh, context capture model a little bit um, a little bit clearer and again this is just one more tool in our toolbox uh, so that we can see what's going on out there on the ground and you know help us make decisions make better engineering decisions which is going to help us obviously create a better design and a better uh, project. Now I did mention earlier that we do have tools if you want to create a train from this you can do so. So I'm going to go over to my reality modeling workflow in Open Roads Designer and under my extract tool frames here I'm going to come down here to ground extraction and you can see the tool here. We won't go through a lot of the details here, but you do have some, some filtering mechanisms which allows us to filter out things like uh, trees and vegetation and cars and stuff like that. So I'm just going to process that which you can see doing in the lower right hand corner and it's going to create a ground terrain for me uh, from that context capture so uh, we'll just go back over real quickly to our open roads modeling workflow we'll bring up our reference file and turn off the reality model and you can see what we've got left there is the um, is the terrain model uh, that was created for us from the context capture. So you won't always need to do this, but if you do, you do have the ability um, to do that um, on, the, on the project.